I like it up here. I want to see Philly represent when this shit drop. Hey, yo, G, I like it up here. I love it up here, man. with a rousing round of applause, our beloved Captain Dead, Muhammad's Mark number 12 in Philadelphia, Brother Captain Gregory Tuhat. Rap music. Fuck what people got to say, I don't give a fuck. Hip-hop is writing and rhyming. This is hip-hop music, and this is all we got. A way of life, to hold the mic in your hand and crush whoever's in front of you. That's hip-hop. You'll be young and uh -huh. you'll be burning back and please. Come on. I'm like, wait a stop, stop. Keep it down. You have no need to think that your instructions have already been thought out. If a nigga gonna get me, a nigga gonna get me. It ain't like I can't be got. It's just gonna be hard as fuck. If you don't have the proper identification, you will not be permitted to come in. Lock it down. I'm not leaving the ghetto shit. He said, that's fly. Kids want to hear that. Brothers, people with tickets have no special privilege. You don't even know what we're going to do next. We got so many hits. And it was actually a piece of paper that's saying that, saying he gave away his hits for a watch and a motherfucking chain. And just like a piece of chiseling, you fit inside my stomach with the exit just between. They never had nothing to believe before they had records. They talked all that shit and then they did it. When money get involved in this shit, that's when niggas start making mistakes. The ones who did it and then talk shit, they don't want to do it. That you did personally use a firearm. Here comes the brand new flavor again. If I was not in the studio and not doing this shit right now and in this motherfucking trailer, you know what I'm saying, and doing this positive shit, I'll probably be right in your motherfucking house right now, tying your ass up in your fucking safe, slapping your kids around on the real. Brand new flavor! Come on, yeah. Come on! So all the wannabes tonight could have been, has been, gonna go in the bin. Brand new flavor! Assalamu alaikum. What is the time, sir? Oh, I've been to Rikers before, yeah. Yeah, but I ain't, you know, I ain't one of them niggas that like to visit people. They fucked up when they in jail. I got to him. Yeah, they call collect on the phone. No, I'm not coming. I'll send you commissary, but I'm not coming. Once upon a time, not long ago, when people wore pajamas and lived life slow. I don't want to come visit no, no rappers in jail. I'm saying, for what? It sold a million, too. I, I wish, you know, I... I mean, it's supposed to be. I mean, I'm, I'm not no, no role model or nothing. I'm not trying to be, you know, but I don't think, you know, if you got all that success, you got it. You can't, you know, and I want, you know, I always tell artists, you know, it's all right to be, you know, to be real. Real is, you know, everybody say, I wish I got to where you got. If I got to where you got, I would not be throwing no guns in nobody's faces or robbing nobody or none of that. Or just, you just being in, somebody got to be for me, believe me, they could go. I'm only going to see Ricky because of the movie. I'm saying that's the only reason I'm can't cut, you gotta cut it out? Well, you should make it real. Come on, and, and you know, I don't understand. I'm older though, I'm 37 years old. I wanna chase, I wanna, you know, I wanna travel around the world and chase famous models. I'm still always gonna be ghetto. I'm too old not to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm who I am, but I ain't gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not broke, so I ain't gotta throw no guns in nobody's faces for nothing. I don't even wanna see no guns if I can help it. 
I got a Rolls Royce. I don't feel like hurting nobody. I don't want nobody near me with no type of drama. Only drama I want is Naomi Campbell. I'm not fucking with Ricky. I don't even know what he's going to talk about. That nigga called me four times. I missed each call. I don't know what he's going to He wants his jewelry. I know that much. That's kind of fly, you know. That's his ego talking. That's why his records is so dope. He'll tell you in a minute. All of them is crumbs, and they all want to be me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and you peasant poor pieces of trash. <laughs> Ego talking. You know, that's the type of shit he would say on his records. They all want to be him, the ruler. And he used to play that shit. The ruler. The name is Slick Rick, the ruler. The rich ruler, by the way. Oh, man. Have you seen the pictures of him with the king hat on and the jewelry? He was as crazy as a bag of angel dust. I mean, personally, crazy. What's up, daddy? How you make it out in here, kid? Appreciate your freedom a lot more, you know? The little things. You know, you don't be so materialistic after, afterwards. Stuff like that, you know? Appreciate family life, all that good stuff, you know? So when the album's supposed to drop? November the what? November 22nd, I think. November 22nd? That's perfect for that Christmas money. It's gonna be good. A lot of the music, as good as we think it is, or Warren G did a good job, it ain't 100% you, and people are waiting for your music. So when you come home, you know, we just, you know, see what you do on your own. I know you feel like it could be better. It ain't, I don't got nothing against no, no producers. I mean, everybody got their props so they wouldn't be producers. You know what I'm saying? It's just that this man can't be me and I can't be him. You know what I'm saying? He might make good music like, like Warren G and Snoop. They got their own style. You know what I'm saying? And Pete Rock or then this one and that one, they got their style. And their shit sells when they work together with... But if you put this with this, sometimes it just don't mix, you know what I'm saying? We can't understand how when these kids get these opportunities, like, you know, they got this gift, they make these records, they get success. And instead of taking that success and, and doing the right thing, a lot of them take that success and, as, a, as a green light to go to hell, to do all the wrong shit. And that's, to me, is a shock. But I keep seeing it more and more. And not to name any artists, but a lot of artists, even the ones that aren't in the news because of it, they, they got, they, with their hit record comes a lot of drama that they don't need. The country, the, the world is bugging out as it is, you know? Brothers are just talking all type of mad stuff. I guess that's the way they feel like expressing themselves. But then when they have their shows and stuff, they got to live up to that image because they're drawing a crowd that's on some rah rah. Yo, check it out, straight from Brooklyn, represent. Got the map, nigga, touch you, got your 